So in this video, we're just going to quickly go over passwords, um, where the passwords are for users, how to set different uh, password aging commands, minimum, maximum, warning, inactive. So if you remember from previous videos, if we went into Etsy password, we saw an X here for each user, right? And that's where the password for each user used to be stored. But then it was moved to Etsy, pass, Etsy shadow, which is only readable by root. No one else can read it, right? And Etsy shadow is where users' passwords uh, and password aging uh, attributes are, are stored. You can view them here, right? Um, so if we look here, we'll get user with the password, right? Sora has a password. We've got different things in this line. We've got, uh, you know, the username. We've got the encrypted password uh, that the user is using, and that's that's all made up of this right here. And what that's made up is, you know, a, a number here defines, you know, what hashing algorithm was used to make it. We've got uh, a salt used to encrypt the password, which would be here between these two dollar signs and then the actual uh, encrypted password. And then over here, we've got uh, different options, such as the day the password will expire, minimum days, maximum, warning period, inactive, any of that set you can see here, right? So the 999 would be the maximum number of days that the password can uh, be used before it has to be changed, right? Zero would be the minimum because those are defaults. I haven't changed those yet. Um, so let's go over the encrypted password one more time, right? The, we have the number here, which represents the hashing algorithm used to encrypt the password. Uh, we have a salt here, which is unique to each user. And that allows multiple users to use the same password. And we have the encrypted password. And the way this works is if a user tries to log in, the system checks at C shadow and it takes the salt that belongs to this user that's trying to authenticate. So say Bob's trying to authenticate, it'll take Bob's salt. It'll take the password Bob gives the system unencrypted and it'll encrypt it with the algorithm defined for Bob. And if it matches, it'll let him in. And if it doesn't, it won't let him in. And that's a basic overview of, of, of Etsy shadow. Uh, but what if I want to change some of my password aging uh, commands, right, and restrictions? Maybe I want the minimum age of the password to be different. Maybe I want the maximum age to be different. How do I do that? We do that using the C-H-A-G-E command. Some people say change, chag. I like to just say change age uh, because ch age is short for change age, right? And it's pretty simple to remember these commands. Um, if you wanted to set a minimum password for a user, right? Well, let's do a dash dash helps first. See, see what we got. We have all these different options we can choose from. You can set an expiration date, um, warning days, right? So if I do a change age, little m, right? Think of a little minimum m, right? It makes it easier to remember if you do capitals and, and lower cases. Uh, one, and we'll do Bob for the user, right? So now if I, uh, let's do an ls uh, dash l and let's grep. Actually, let's do a cat here of uh, Etsy shadow and let's grep for Bob. Now we can see the minimum password age for Bob is turned to one. I want to change the maximum password age for Bob. Let's say 10 days. And these are increments of days as well. It'll be a capital M. And then we'll grab for Bob and Etsy Shadow. And we can see the maximum number of days I'm allowed to use this password has changed from 99,989 to 10. If I wanted to set a warning period, a warning window, right? Whenever Bob logs in and say warning, your password will expire in so many days. That's going to be a capital W. Let's say I want a warning window of seven days for Bob, right? We'll grab shadow again. 
Oh, it was seven days by default. Whoops. Let's set it to eight, just so we can see the difference here. And now it's eight. Uh, maybe we want to set an inactive timer, right? If he doesn't log in with so many days, lock out his account. Well, it's going to be change age dash capital I. Let's say 60 days. And the user, Bob. We'll grip Etsy Shadow. And it wasn't set before, you, but you can see it is set now. And that's how you change these things for one user at a time. But what if you wanted to set it for anybody who had an account created? Well, you can do that. You can set it to where anybody who gets a new account will get the applied settings, but it won't change it for user accounts that already exist, right? And the way you do that is you go to Etsy login dot DFS. Oh, let me that. So if you change in this file, right, the max days, the min days, the min length, the morning age, and anything else you want to add, it'll apply to any user that gets created after you make these changes. But these changes will not be applied to current users. So just keep that in mind. And that's the basics of, of you know, of managing passwords for users.